Hello and welcome back. Today we have another item from the Coin Club. Uh, so for those unaware, Coin Club is a company that makes uh, coins and tokens. They also retail uh, Royal Mint products as well on their site. Um, for the sake of transparency, I'm not financially incentivized to make these videos in as much as I won't get any kickback, I won't get any financial reward if you go over to their site and purchase them. They have agreed a bit of a discount for me in lieu of the fact that I make these videos to show them to you and it's a bit of publicity there and so they win because it gets their, their coin out and out in, uh, in videos amongst coin collectors but also I, I win because I get to keep some awesome products um, but I'm excited to get into this I'm working I've got a couple of different sets running with the coin club uh, the ancient Egypt and the Star Wars original trilogy set uh, I'm excited to get into this one I have opened it up just to pull out the invoice just so I don't completely give away my address but we have got it is an ancient Egypt one. Now these are very, very cool. I will show you the book that we've got so far. So it comes in, it comes with, I should say, a very cool ancient Egypt coin binder. And we've had a number of coins so far. We'll go in order of just the way they are on the pages. We have had Tutankhamun. Now this is, this is the first one that I saw that I spotted on, I think it was on Instagram or Facebook, somewhere advertising. I thought, that looks really cool. And it's not the first time I've spotted a coin uh, being advertised on Facebook or Instagram. I've gone, that's really cool. Reach out to the company to see what sort of deal we can arrange. Uh, but that is superb. Again, a very iconic um, person in, or a figure of historical significance in ancient Egypt. We then had Osiris, which is, which is an Egyptian god. I forget of what though. Uh, God of the Afterlife, Underworld and Rebirth. There we go. That's what it says under him anyway. We then have the pyramids. Where I want to go. I'd love to go visit them. I think it'd be absolutely stunning to see them. A marvel of human engineering. Um, persist the persist persistence of our species to create these giant monoliths um, prior to having any sort of industry. We then had the Eye of Horus, which apparently represents protection, health, and restoration in ancient Egypt, which is pretty cool. And the most recent one we had was, oh, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. It is the Ankh, which is a symbol of uh, power, wasn't it, I recall? Life. Uh, signifying life and in art has often been held as something to represent gods or fairies powers there we go we're learning stuff we're learning stuff i studied uh, ancient egypt in year four i can't forget now how old you are in year four uh, but that is the, <laughs> the last time that i studied ancient egypt but there's always been a little bit of fascination within myself uh, around that around the topic so what have we got today then let's see if i can guess what it if I can recall or guess what it is a design of because we've got we've we're how many we're on now we're on five designs so this will be six this will be the the halfway mark we're halfway to completing the set after we pop this coin in so it's a 2019 Solomon Island one dollar um, what drew me to this set originally was it's not only is it ancient Egypt is the color is just stunning I think it's a I think it's, I believe it's cobalt the uh, the black, I forget now, oh sorry, black nickel, I'm reading it now, layered with uh, 24 karat gold, which is very cool. I know some people aren't a massive fan of layered coins because it just means that the, obviously this is just like a gold layer rather than it being solid gold, but to me it's the design that matters. If I like the design, I want the coin, whatever it's made of. I'm never going to saw my coins and have to <laughs> have a look at what's in the middle of them. Uh, but that is a lovely, lovely coin. Uh, let's have a look to see what design we've got. Cleopatra. What do I know about Cleopatra? Uh, is it, is, was it Elizabeth Taylor that played Cleopatra? Alongside um, Richard Burton, I think. Ba bathing in milk? Uh, uh, was there a relationship between her and Julius Caesar? I, I, I have no idea that, whether that's just a myth or not. But that is a lovely, lovely design. Very cool. What does it say about Cleopatra then? You've heard my my um, <laughs> small amount of knowledge that I have. 
that probably isn't even correct. Pop her there. So we can see whilst we were having whilst I'm having a read. It says Cleopatra the Seventh. I didn't know there was more than one Cleopatra. Uh, ruled ancient Egypt as co-regent for almost three decades and was the last in the dynasty of Macedonian rulers. Cleopatra is known for her love affairs and military alliances with Roman leaders Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. She committed suicide in 30 BC as Egypt fell under Roman dominion. There we go, see? I got something right there. Very cool. And you in the comments will have to let me know. It was one of the one of the uh, epics of the Golden Age of Cinema. Richard Burton, I'm sure it was Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton in it. Sort of the the era of films with um, Lawrence of Arabia, that sort of stuff. But that is a lovely, lovely design. But no, do let me know. What did you th What do you think of it? We've still got half of these to go th to go through, and I'm quite excited to see what other designs we're going to get and what they look like when we get them. Let's pop that one in there. There we go. Another one ticked off. Well. As ever, all that leads me to do is, a ma is to leave a massive thank you to Coin Club for uh, working with me on uh, making these videos. Uh, I've, I'm looking forward very much to the rest of this set and also potentially new sets in the future that they release that I feel will be some interest to myself, but also you guys as a viewer. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.